Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday morning, and I just got through unloading down here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Figured I'd make y'all a quick video. I had a couple of topics that I would like to touch on this morning. Now, first thing this morning, I had to go for my DOT physical. Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about a little bit about health and truck driving. I've been driving a little over 20 years now, and let's just say it has took its toll on my body. And I, my numbers are not exactly where they need to be. And each year they've been getting a little bit worse. I've only getting a one year card nowadays because I am diabetic. There ain't no hiding from that. And it seems to be doing a little bit worse each year. I'm not afraid of it but I do wish that I could find some kind of way to control it. And I wish that I would have paid attention. Those years ago, whenever the doctors told me I was pre-diabetic, but I was not really educated on the disease and how it progresses. Nowadays I am, and it's done got to the point to where it is a problem to get my medical card every year. And this year, I had a little bit of problem with my blood pressure doing weird things. I don't know if I was just nervous or what, but uh, anyway, I didn't have to get no blood pressure pills, but that could keep going to where I end up getting blood pressure pills to control it. I'm already on diabetic pills. Now, if I end up getting blood pressure pills, that won't be fun, um, but I am overweight. I'm hoping to be able to get that under control this year with a little bit more work, and I've changed my diet radically since last year and it is just not taking hold yet i mean i'm down 20 pounds from where i was last year i dropped about 30 and I put on about 10 so i'm still down 20 pounds from the point where i was last year but it's not enough it's just not enough i mean driving a truck is hard on the body especially if you don't have a job like mine where you can't get out and do any kind of physical labor. If you're just bumping docks, it's extremely hard on the body. And I'm hoping and praying that through a lot of work and more changes in my diet and maybe even some changes in my medicine that next year it won't be so hard to get a physical card. But also that next year I'm hoping that I'm going to not be driving anyway. I'm going to be at home dispatching, but I still need my license and my medical card so I can pull last minute runs and get extra income all that remains to be seen that's all futuristic stuff uh, but the point of the matter is ladies and gentlemen if you're gonna drive these big rigs up and down the road when you start out if you're a little bit heavy when you start out you might as well look for it you're gonna get a little more heavier as the years pass by and it can be very detrimental to your health and the the job can be very lucrative but at what cost i mean it's a cost to me that i have i have implemented into my business plan i knew what it was going to do to my body to an extent but you always got to figure for a little bit more and it has done a little bit more to my body than i i really wanted it to i knew it was going to be tough um but i'm going to keep going I'm coming down to the wire to where my company can grow and expand. I'm just kind of taken back. Because I, when I first started driving trucks, I was extremely strong. I did have a little belly, but it wasn't nothing, you know, that was ugly or anything. It was just, I was a thick youngin. I had a lot of muscles. Because I grew up working in hardware stores and throwing shingles and blocks and stuff like that you know and and sometimes people <laughs> i was a rough character back in the day and but when i started driving trucks it really affected my health and i think that everybody that's fixing to drive i can't say it enough needs to really take that into an account of what it's going to do to their body because it's not a job you're going to be in a certain area where you can hit a gym at a regular interval and i used to be anti-gyms but now i'm having these problems I'm starting to see where I might have to get a gym membership, sadly, because 
man that's just not something i like to do i'm not a fan of going and working out in front of people and conversating with people and it's not that i don't like people i'm just not i'm not a group player per se i i love people and i hope that they all do great do great and find jesus and we're all in heaven together but i'm a pretty private solitary person i do like talking on the phone on occasion to some friends but far as carrying on group conversations and stuff like that that's hard for me to do i don't know if it's my mentality or what but it is hard for me to carry on a conversation with three or four people at once that's just part of my personality quirk i guess you could say <laughs> but anyway we're getting off on 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 left field i want to stay on point i want to stay on point sorry about that somebody was trying to call in don't know who in the world it was i'm supposed to have my phone on the national no call list raw anyway but yes, you need to take into account as you build this career what it's going to do to your body and try to have a physical plan in place to help you stay on top of your game and not let it get ahead of you too early. Because we all are going to get old and things are going to happen as we grow older. But I'm just over 40 and I really ain't looking forward to having a whole bunch of stuff start going on real early. But hey whatever the good lord plans that's what's gonna happen i just know that i need to do a little bit better in my lifestyle the other thing i want to talk about is christians as a group they tend to be harder on their own than anybody else you know i figured when i started this channel and i used the name christian trucker that i would catch some flack probably from atheists or some mean people that are unbelievers or muslims or anything like that nope 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 the flack that i have caught because of the name that i use on youtube has come from within my own community from within my own community more than a few times have i had people come down hard on me because i might listen to pastor rick warren or pastor hagee or um td jakes or whoever they come down hard oh they're not good people and i'm unsubscribing or i'm not gonna be on your facebook page or blah 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 or i talk funny or you know it's just it's ridiculous some of the things that i hear come out of my own community about what i do and all i have to say really about that is what are you doing are you trying to spread the word? Are you trying to make a difference in the world? What are you doing? Instead of sitting back and trying to contradict somebody else that is actually trying to make a move and do good things for the world and his community, maybe you should look at yourself and see where you're going and what you're doing and who you're helping and how you're spreading the word because it's not okay to just start going after people just because they don't believe 100 percent exactly like you do therefore we have hundreds of different denominations of christianity all the different churches and sects and groups and people that they don't they cannot agree everybody wants to be in charge they want to be 100 percent correct and i'm sorry that is just not going to happen i have watched many a church split because too many people wanted to be in charge and not enough people wanted to be there for the right reason which is worshiping the good lord almighty trying to win souls to jesus we were saved to go out and win souls we were not saved to be at the church every day knocking the doors down and being right on a hundred percent of biblical philosophy anyway i'm gonna leave it right there god bless each and every one of you thank you for listening and and hanging in there with me we will catch y'all on the next ride